hey guys welcome back so in this video we are going to see how to make the product quantity increment and decrement using jquery in our php project so let's get started with it so previously we had just kept a text box over here now we will be adding a plus button over here and a minus button over here so when you press the plus button the quantity has to increase and when you press the minus it has to decrease so let's get the design from getbootstrap.com so go to the docs and search for input group okay so you have it over here we are going to take this one so i will just copy it copy and go to your code and this is the product view.php page and it is over here input type equal to text so i'll just paste this over here and align it and this text box you can just remove it and now we'll just check the output go and refresh so you can see you've got this we'll just change this to plus and minus okay so over here say plus and this will be minus refresh so this text box is pretty big so we'll just make it small so over here and just say style and say width has 130 px refresh yeah so now it looks good and i will just add bg white and say this text box has disabled okay so you cannot manually type it over here and give it a default value value is equal to one and this thing you can just remove area label yeah so now we'll just align this in the center hit text center refresh yeah so when i click this I'll just make it like clickable so just make this as button so now when you hover on it it will look as clickable refresh yeah so when you click this the value has to increment and then when you click the minus button it has to decrement so we'll just say increment button okay and i'll just copy the same thing and paste it over here for decrement button okay yeah so copy this increment button class name and in your assets js create a new file called custom.js and over here say jq doc ready so inside this i'm going to create a jq click and the selector is the class name which we just copied okay so this class name make sure you're giving it in the class and not the name attribute so on this click what we are going to do is we are going to take the value of this input box so we'll give a class to this say product quantity or you can just say quantity input or you can make it the other way input quantity i'll just copy that and over here you have to fetch that value okay so i'll just say where qty is equal to and paste the selector over here dot val okay so you will get the value of that let me just show you alert quantity and we will link this to our footer.php inside your includes footer.php over here just copy and paste say custom.js and refresh so you can see i've got this value one over here so let's get back to the code and over here we'll just remove this and create another variable called value is equal to 
parse int so we'll just convert that to integer say quantity and if the user has changed the value by inspecting it in the browser then we are going to check if it is a number then we will allow that number else we are going to set it to zero so we are just going to say value is equal to is not a number and pass the value here so if this is true assign zero else send the value okay so if it is not a number we are going to put zero or the value and then i'll just check if value is less than 10 so we are just allowing maximum 10 for each product okay value plus plus increment the value and then append the value back to this place say value okay so if you have multiple products in the same page and you want to increment this you can use the closest function so let me just show you i will just add a class over here called product data copy that and paste it over here pass this dot closest function and within this you just give your parent class dot find so it's a dot over here yeah so now if you have multiple products it will find your parent class and then append to the nearest value so you can just keep it this way also so in future when we are making the cart we can use the same quantity code I'll just copy this and paste it over here remove this yeah so now we'll just test the increment code refresh we'll just inspect go to the console and over here is not number is not defined so i think i just made a mistake over there so this is going to be capital refresh and increment so you can see it is incrementing up to 10 okay so now we'll just copy and paste the code for decrement button also copy and paste change the class name so you have it over here decrement button paste it and then over here we are just going to check if it is greater than zero then we are just going to decrement the value so just save and refresh your browser so just increment and then decrement up to zero so we have to not allow zero over here so just say if it is greater than one refresh okay so now it looks good so that's it in this video guys we have seen how to make the product quantity increment and decrement so in the next video we will see how to make the add to cart and design the cart table so thank you for watching this video guys please like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you